Okay guys, so this is the first video that we're going to do in our Blender tutorial series. Um, it's basically just showing you guys how we use the video sequence editor in Blender to edit all the videos we put out on YouTube. It might be a little bit more complicated than some other programs, maybe not. It just depends on, I guess, what you're willing to work around and stuff like that. But uh, we've been using it for about a year and a half now, and we prefer it over two other softwares that we use. So in this video, I just want to show you how we basically get the video imported, and we'll stop there, and in the next video, we'll get into uh, setting up the video um, and cutting it and stuff like that. But to begin with, you're, when you launch Blender, after you've downloaded it and installed it and everything, you'll be presented with this screen and you can just click anywhere to get rid of this um, window right here and then up here we're going to go to video editing and that'll bring up this set of windows there are a lot of tutorials on blender and everybody kinda sets up their layout a little bit differently I guess the only thing I really do is switch this to prop or, uh, properties and that's about it um, other than that, I mean, you, there's all kinds of different windows and stuff you can open, but this usually gets me by. Um, so to add a video, which is the point of this video, after you've in, after you're in here, um, the first thing I do is turn on the AV sync because it just seems to receive the file better that way or the video that way. Um, go to add right here and movie, and then you can, there's all kinds of selections over here to get to the folder you need to get to. Um, we will use, let's see, we'll use something from Makers Wanted, and we'll use Eloy's You Suck at Woodworking Clip, and then Add Movie Strip up here. Alright, after you have it in, you're going to want to set all the settings to what the video is. Now, I know this is a 720 video, so I'm going to go to the Render Presets in the Properties window and select HDTV 720p and that'll resize it a little bit over here and then you'll set the frame rate I know this frame rate is uh, 24 frames per second so we're good there okay now you have the video in here and then in the next video which will be out in just a couple days I'll show you how to start setting up the file or setting up the video to actually start working with it so make sure you check back in a few days and I'll have the next video out and ready to go Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.